Up until a couple of weeks ago, if you wanted to connect your Insta360 Ace Pro 2 to the DJI Mic Mini system, you had two choices. Like this using Bluetooth, or like this using the mic adapter. But thanks to the latest firmware update, there is now a third option. Like this. How does it compare to the other two? Well, let's find out. Just a couple of weeks ago, Insta360 posted a new firmware update for the Ace Pro 2, version 1.1.18, with a number of key updates including direct USB support of additional microphone systems, including the Hollyland Lark systems and the one we're focused on today, the DJI Mic Mini. So today we're going to check it out to see how it works, how well it works, and of course we're going to compare it to using the Mic Mini as a Bluetooth microphone or using the full system setup including the mic adapter and see how it compares. So there's a lot to cover, so as usual I'll place the chapters up here and on the video timeline, but before we get into it the usual disclaimer, this video is not sponsored, paid for or influenced in any way. I purchased all of the equipment with my own money and the opinions are entirely my own. And of course if you enjoy the video please remember to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for a lot more similar content. So let's get on with it. Okay, let's go through the connection process starting with the Bluetooth connection. So basically I have my Ace Pro 2 powered on and ready. I have my mic mini transmitter also powered on, ready to connect. And we're going to go into the menu by pulling down on the screen and swiping across. And you'll notice there are two icons here which we can use. One is the microphone icon and the other is an AirPods icon. Either of these will take you to the Bluetooth pairing process. If I hit the AirPods icon, it will immediately start searching for a Bluetooth device. And if I use the microphone icon, you'll notice it has a few settings. And at the bottom, it tells me no Bluetooth audio device connected, connect now. So I hit this and it will also start the pairing process. Now, of course, in order to pair the microphone, we also need to start the pairing process on the microphone itself. So what I'm going to do is hold down the pairing button here. You'll notice that this starts flashing rapidly, alternating blue and green. And if I hit that AirPods icon, it will now search. And you can see it's found my mic mini. And I click on here and it connects. Now the first time you connect this, it's probably going to come up with this message. Bluetooth headphones enabled to use multiple mics enable dual track audio. Now this message will appear every time you connect as long as you do not have that enabled. So with dual track audio, what it does is it records the primary track to the video using the Bluetooth microphone but it also records a separate audio track using the camera's onboard microphones, which you can then mix in post-production. So if you turn that on, you'll always have that additional channel available. Now, if we head out to the main screen now, you can see there is an AirPods icon in the top right telling me that a Bluetooth microphone is connected. And you can also see the audio level bar at the top of the screen. Now, a couple of things to note, if I power off the microphone, you'll see that it disconnects and now, of course, it will go back to using the onboard microphones of the Ace Pro 2. If I power the microphone back on again, you'll see it immediately reconnects. Now, also, if I power off the camera, You'll notice that my mic mini has lost its connection, so it's flashing blue. When I power the camera back on, it 
normally reconnects, but it generally takes at least 15 to 20 seconds in order to reconnect. And here you can see it has reconnected. Now, unfortunately, that very long connection time means that if you want to use the quick capture mode, so if I have the camera powered off and I use the record button to power on the camera and immediately start recording, it does so, but it does so using the onboard microphones of the Ace Pro 2. The mic mini will eventually connect, but it will not be used for the current recording. As you can see, it tells me that it's only available after the current recording. Now, as far as configuration is concerned, there is really only one option. If you head over to the settings, to the microphone option, you can see there is a small settings button in the top right corner. And if we tap on that, you'll see that there is an option to adjust the gain for the Bluetooth microphone. You can adjust it from plus 9 dB to minus 18 dB. Now, once you've completed the initial setup process, obviously this is then the easiest way to connect your mic mini to your Ace Pro 2. And it has one additional key advantage, and that is that the camera remains completely waterproof, weatherproof, and rugged. Okay, let's go through the full system setup, including the use of the mic adapter. Now, the first thing we have to do here is, of course, install the mic adapter. And in order to do that, I have to remove this little side door on the Ace Pro 2. Now, you can do this whether the camera is powered on or not. I just have it powered off because it prevents me from pushing buttons and tapping on the screen while I'm demonstrating this. So in order to remove the side door, I find the easiest way is to get it at around about a 45 degree angle and then simply pull away and down. And I don't know if you can see that on here, but you can actually see the direction of the clip. So when it comes to reinstalling it, I find again using something like a 45 degree angle and then just push up towards the top of the camera to reinstall it. But let's go ahead and remove it. And let's place our mic adapter in place. Make sure it clicks firmly into place. Then we can connect our receiver. Now obviously we now have to do something about this unless we just want to let it hang around. So you may want to use something like one of these cages. which has a cold shoe for securing the receiver. Now let's go ahead and power on. And now that we are powered on, here you can see there is a microphone symbol at the top of the display, and you can also see the audio level display at the top also. As far as the settings are concerned, as we saw previously, if you go to the microphone icon, select settings in the top right and you see also for external microphone you can adjust the gain similar to what we saw with the bluetooth microphone from plus 9 to negative 18 db now clearly this is going to be the most complex and difficult to set up each time you want to record and of course in this configuration your ace pro 2 is no longer waterproof or weatherproof but this configuration should give you the highest quality audio, and that's something we'll test for later on. So, with the release of the new firmware, we now have a new way of connecting our DJI receiver. We do not need the mic adapter, we do not need the analog cable. What we do need is this little USB-C adapter which connects to the DJI Mic Mini receiver. And the way we do that is to remove the little cover on the back of the receiver. We place the USB-C adapter in place 
and we're going to plug it directly into the Ace Pro 2. Now, of course, just like we did before, we're going to have to first remove the side cover. And having removed the side cover, we can now place our DJI receiver. Now, it will fit in either orientation, facing the front of the camera, or facing the rear of the camera. Now, in this configuration, it does somewhat impede the button for releasing the flip-up screen, but if you push against it, you can get it to come up. And once again, if we power on the Ace Pro 2, once again, you can see the microphone icon in the top right. And you can also see the audio level bar at the top of the screen. And just like we saw previously, if you head over to the settings, hit the microphone, you also can access the external microphone gain here. Now, how good the audio quality is in this configuration, I guess we'll find out when we do some testing, but it's certainly a lot simpler to set up than the full configuration, including the mic adapter, although also in this configuration, clearly the camera is no longer waterproof or weatherproof. Okay, let's start out our testing indoors, and just for reference purposes, I'm going to start by using the onboard microphones of the Ace Pro 2. Now, I've already done quite a bit of testing on the Ace Pro 2, and I do find that the onboard microphones do a pretty good job, as long as you are pretty close to the camera. But what do you think? How do you find the audio quality of the onboard microphones of the Ace Pro 2? Okay, and now let's switch over to the DJI Mic Mini, and first of all, we're going to connect using Bluetooth. And now I have switched over to the DJI Mic Mini connected using Bluetooth. Now this is the lowest quality connection type for the DJI Mic Mini, but what do you think? How is the audio quality of the Mic Mini over Bluetooth? How does it compare to the onboard microphones? Okay, so much for Bluetooth. Let's now switch over to the full configuration using the mic adapter. Okay, once again, I'm using the mic mini, but this time the full system connected to the Ace Pro 2 using the mic adapter. Now, in theory, this should give us the highest audio quality of the three connection types. But again, what do you think? How is the audio quality? How does it compare to the Bluetooth? How does it compare to the onboard microphones of the Ace Pro 2? Okay, so this was the mic mini connected to the Ace Pro 2 using the mic adapter. Let's now switch over to the direct USB connection and see how it compares. And now I have switched over to using the direct USB connection to the Ace Pro 2. Now obviously this is much simpler to set up than by using the mic adapter, but importantly, how is the audio quality? How does it compare to the Bluetooth connection? How does it compare to the connection using the mic adapter? Is it as good or is it just a compromise? Okay, so much for our indoor tests. Let's now take this outdoors and do some additional audio tests as well as some range and stability testing. Okay, let's continue our testing now outdoors, once again starting with the onboard microphones of the Ace Pro 2. So once again, as long as I stay pretty close to the camera, the onboard microphones sound pretty decent. Of course, if I were to move a little further away from the camera, if I were to turn away from the camera, that's when you start to have issues with the onboard microphones. So let's go ahead and switch over to the Mic Mini, starting with the Bluetooth connection. Okay, now I have the Mic Mini connected and the first connection type that we're looking at is the Bluetooth connection. Now I've never been particularly impressed with the audio quality when it comes to Bluetooth microphones, but what do you think? How is the audio quality? How does it compare to the onboard microphone? Now one advantage of course of having a wireless connection is that I can move away from the camera, I can turn my back to the camera and you should be able to hear me without any signal interruptions. 
Okay, and now we have the full system implementation. So I have the receiver plugged into the mic adapter. So this in theory should give us the best quality. And of course, once again, just being a wireless microphone allows me to move away from the camera, turn my back to the camera, and you should have no problem continuing to hear my voice. Okay, so now I have switched over to the direct USB connection. Now this is the new capability with the latest firmware update, being able to connect the DJI Mic Mini receiver using just the USB-C port. So how does it sound? Once again, of course, being a wireless microphone means I can move away from the camera, I can turn my back to the camera, and you should have no problem hearing me okay without any interruptions. Okay, now I'm around about 50 feet away from the camera. I'm currently using the Bluetooth connection. And as long as I maintain line of sight to the camera, it should be okay. The problem is, as soon as I turn away from the camera, as soon as there are any obstructions, you start to get a lot of signal interruptions and you'll no longer be able to hear my voice clearly. Okay, now about 50 feet away from the camera using the full system configuration, so with the mic adapter. Once again, let's go ahead and do the obstruction test. I'll turn my back to the camera. Are you noticing any signal interruptions? Are you still able to hear my voice okay? Okay, now I'm around about 50 feet away from the camera with the USB direct connection. How is the audio quality? Are you able to hear me okay? What if I turn my back to the camera blocking the line of sight? Are you hearing any signal interruptions or are you still able to hear my voice okay? Okay, now I am 100 feet away from the camera. I'm currently using the Bluetooth connection. How is the audio quality? Are you still able to hear me okay? How about if I turn away from the camera and turn my back from the camera? Are you able to hear me okay? Are you noticing any signal interruptions? Okay, and now at 100 feet away from the camera using the complete system with the mic adapter, Let's once again do our obstruction test, turn my back to the camera. How is the audio quality now? Are you able to hear me okay? Are you noticing any signal interruptions? Okay, I'm around about 100 feet away from the camera. This is about as far away as I'm going to go during this test. So currently I'm connected using the direct USB connection. How is the audio quality here at 100 feet? What if I turn my back to the camera blocking line of sight? Are you still able to hear my voice okay? Are you noticing any signal interruptions? A couple of months back I posted a very similar video to this one where I hooked up the DJI Mic 2 system to the Ace Pro 2 and ran very similar tests. Now I have listened to these clips several times over using both speakers and headphones and of course I've also compared it to the results I got with the Mic 2 system and I would say that the Mic Mini system performed just as well as the Mic 2 system and if you check out that video you'll also find that the Mic 2 system struggled when it came to the range and stability test whereas the Mic Mini performed just as well as using the mic adapter. Now when it comes to comparing the three different connection types on the Mic Mini, clearly Bluetooth is not a great option, the audio quality is not great, and as we also saw, the slightest obstruction will cause signal dropouts. But in some cases, it may still give you a good option if you need a quick and simple setup or you need to keep your camera waterproof. Comparing the USB connection to using the mic adapter, Obviously the USB connection is simpler to set up, but my impression was that using the mic adapter still gives you the best audio quality. There's not a lot in it, but I did think it was slightly better. But what did you think when you listened to it over your headphones, your speakers? Please go ahead and add your comments into the comments section. So overall the new firmware release adding direct USB support of the Mic Mini and the Hollyland Lark systems is definitely a positive development. Wireless microphone support has never been a strength when it comes to Insta360 cameras, but this is definitely a step in the right direction. 
So that wraps it up for another video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please remember to give us a like and also consider subscribing to the channel for a lot more similar content. If you have any questions, any comments, if you have suggestions for future videos, please drop those into the comment section. Otherwise, thanks for watching.